So, hello, beautiful family. It's Stephen here, 29th of March, sorry, 30th of March in the year 2024. And uh, I've just been preaching just behind that ice cream thing. I don't know how long I preached, but I've been with Sister Arnie, Sister Arnie, brother, brother, sorry, brother Arnie, <laughs> Sister Dawn, and uh, three or four, four, four or five others. And uh, we took time, you know, I was handing out gospel tracts and then, then it would be my turn to preach on the microphone, big speaker, loudspeaker, like 300 watts or something. And um, a few people t t came and told us to turn it down, but many gospel tracts were given out. But I will be honest with you, 80% of the people are rejecting them. Eight of the people say, that, that's not for me, I'm all right. <laughs> they don't realize, do they, that they're not all right. I'll just point it this way. I'm, I'm doing you a walk and talk video. And I think this is the street. I don't know if this is, oh no, this might not be the street. No, 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 it's, it's the other one. I'm gonna show you all these, uh, shops and just show you just what York is really like. I mean, I did did stop and talk to two uh, witches. Um, uh, they had pentagrams all over them and, and they were, one of them was transgender. I don't know if it's a male or a female, but it doesn't matter. I don't care about that. But, um, but uh, witchcraft, oh my gosh, that's a, such a terrible thing to, to get involved with. I think it might be this street. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to try, try and uh, show you some. I'm hope, hoping to show you some of the shops, blooming, uh, selling all the occultic stuff. Uh, and, and then, then you know just why York's such a dark place. It's well one of the reasons. There's powers and principalities over each area, and over York there. Well, I I envisioned that. When I came here on my own once, I envisioned a, a giant standing over York. Um, that's what I envisioned. It's only it was a blurry vision, but I saw it. Ha, I mean, look at that. There you go, Babylon. I mean, just get, get a load of that. Babylon. So that's the first one. <laughs> you see what I mean? Well, I'm not going for a cup of tea in Babylon. <laughs> Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, Babylon the Great is fallen, it's fallen. So anyway, carry, carry, continue, I'll show you what else shops there are, if there is any. Uh, that, that one doesn't look too bad, but uh, I don't know. I think it was this street where I walked down with all this um, magical stuff. I might be down the wrong street because I, I don't know York that very well, you see. But it's, uh, I mean, these are really old streets, some of these streets. Yeah, I've no idea where I'm going. I'm, going, I'm just going to walk this way, but see if I can spot any sh shops. I hope you're all right, beautiful family. So, got a few uh, bit of abuse and stuff. Uh, what D Dawn was um, was filming me preaching, but she does it on Facebook. But she's going to try and figure out how she can share the videos to me when I was preaching and the others preaching, so that we can so I can upload them onto my channel and you can see that I've been preaching today in York so I don't know if I will uh, preach on my own outside York train station, I don't know uh, oh, where's all them shops gone, they've all I can't believe it it must be down the wrong street but there was one street it was every other shop had um, you know, satanic stuff in it, books about Alistair Crowley and pentagrams all over and stuff And so anyway Hmm, just fancy a bath. <laughs> I haven't got a bath at home, I've just got a shower. Anyway, let's just keep going. It's, it's hard to film when there's all these people. What's that? Bird and blend. T oh, tea. A tea shop, but that's the minster up there. York Minster, but the charge to go in there. I mean, it should be free, but any, any chance to make some money and people will, won't they? So what's that one? I don't know. Oh, it's just there. It's just a cosmetic shop, but I love you all, beautiful family. It's, it's a lovely day here. It's quite warm as well. Um, and I enjoyed preaching with Don. I, I haven't seen him for like three years, Don and Arnie. I haven't seen him for about three years. And it was such a lovely time. Uh, YouTube locked me out of my channel, so I've not been able to upload any videos, apart from one, I think. Um, 
the others it's not letting me upload them so please pray for my channel guys I, I'm sick of it I'm sick of YouTube the Lord rebuke you YouTube <laughs> they just keep making it very difficult for me to continue to, you know I want you to see me like I'll do a video of preaching and I want you to see it within half an hour you know what I mean so anyway what's this oh it's sock shop Soctopus. <laughs> It's a different cat gallery. Don't know what's in there, but everything to do with cats, I suppose. Well, that's not bad, is it? But uh, ah, I don't know where all them shops gone. Them occultic shops. You know, I'm completely lost. I don't even know where I am. Help me, guys! I'm lost. <laughs> no, not that you can help me, but <laughs> but anyway, I thank you for all your prayers today. I, I did feel them uh, on, on the on the train. I, on the train I felt I felt a great lack of confidence and everything and but um, as soon as I start preaching I'm all right I'll just point it this way guys I can't see a thing oh shit uh, let's see if there's some of these shops P P pyramid gallery well mm. <laughs> don't know. yeah let's just leave it on for a while guys and try and film some of the stuff sorry man uh, But the, last time, I can't remember this. There must be one street that's like devoted to like Harry Potter or something because it's just full of uh, uh, occultic stuff. But not, none of these things are just like pubs and uh, jewelry shops and stuff. But anyway, uh, God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what's in there. Uh, I think it's a bedding shop or something. <laughs> I mean, look at the names of these things. If thy eye be evil, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye than having uh, two eyes to go into eternal damnation. So, I mean, just the names of the things. I mean, I mean, when something's good now, people say, oh, that's wicked, oh, that's sick or something like this and woe unto them that call evil good and good evil so you know look at this I think I think, I think this is one of this is definitely one of the cultic you probably can't see because of the sun but um, it, it is it's a it's a demonic place look at it all I don't fancy going in there though guys but um it's, it all looks quite. Uh, well, it's all a distraction. It's all a distraction, Boba Fett. It's all a distraction. Look, warlock. It's, uh, duality, crystal ball. This is what I mean, guys. I mean, this is when the last time I came down one of the streets, it was just every other shop. So I don't know what's I don't know what's happened to to it all, but. Uh, I love you all anyway, beautiful family. It's, it's so warm today, I can't believe it. How, how quick the weather can change from being freezing cold one minute and boiling hot the next. I'll be so glad to get to heaven. Do you know, since they've been doing, since they've been dousing us with chemtrails, my nose is continuously running all the time. Uh, when it's cold, my nose is running continuously. And it didn't used to be like that. My sinuses have been affected because of the chemtrails. But never mind, we're about to leave, so it doesn't really matter. What I was preaching, um, I was preaching the same kind of stuff, but I was telling people, look guys, I was saying, look guys, this is urgent. Um, hurry up, get on board the Ark of Salvation. Like this, I was pleading with people, basically. Uh, and when I'm preaching, I do I do look at the people with, with love and I... You know, and I just—they're all going away, laughing, laughing at it, and uh, they've they, they, they no idea, they've no idea, no idea what's uh, coming upon this world, no idea, unfortunately. I mean, we're trying to wake them up. We're doing what I did, anyway. There was there was one guy who got saved right, right in front of me. So I think it's dawn, and somebody else brought him, brought him to the Lord. So that was good. 
Oh no, where I am now. <laughs> uh, right, I need to go over there. Right, I love your family. I, I can actually go this way. I'll just keep it going. Just, uh, I just want to show you the streets of York. You can see how busy it is today. It's just off the charts. It's uh, so busy. So yes, here we are in York. Not New York. <laughs> is there anybody from New York there? Watching, we've got McDonald's, they've got them everywhere. I remember when we first moved to Spain, I was only nine years old, but I remember there was one, only one McDonald's in the whole of the UK in 1979 and 78. And, uh, and, uh, and there was one Wimpy and one Burger King, right? And, uh, get to America and there's McDonald's everywhere Pizza Hut and 7-Eleven we loved it and uh, <laughs> but now I realize all that food is not junk food it's not good for us and uh, and then suddenly McDonald's is everywhere you, you've even got one well you've probably got one uh, somewhere right at the top of the Himalayan mountains McDonald's they're everywhere <laughs> you know oh you'll be able to see the Minster now I mean, that's just a church, I think, but the actual minster is there. It's a great big thing. Uh, I don't know if there's one bigger than it in, in the UK, but it is massive. It, it's, where, it's where the Archbishop of York uh, preaches, John Sentamu. But I disagree with all, most, most churches, sorry. I'm not, not all churches. I, I mean, I don't disagree with uh, everyone, but the church institution as a whole are not telling people what time it is. It's like life's going on as normal, you know, but it isn't. I've been trying to say that to people today. I say many of you are deceived into thinking things are going back to normal. But I'll tell you, when the rapture happens, look at all these people. Just look at all these people, right? In the name of Jesus, for the glory of Jesus Christ. Look at all these people, and then just imagine, just imagine that couple there, and suddenly the two children go missing. And just, can you imagine? And that, and that guy in the car is Christian, and suddenly he plows into all those people. Can you imagine the chaos? It's going to bring absolute chaos when the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is our, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18, this is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 13. Anyway, I'm just debating whether I'm going to spend an hour preaching on my own outside uh, uh, York train station, I think that's what I might do. Um, I'll just keep this going a little bit longer so you can, I can show you a bit more of York. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's steeped in uh, a Viking and Roman history. Uh, I mean, it's con it was conquered by, I mean, the name York is, comes from the Viking name Jorvik. Um, I don't know exactly what it means, but uh, I think it's the original York in the world. There's many Yorks in the world, but I think this is the original, as far as I know. But uh, there's a there's a Roman wall surrounding the whole the whole city, and uh, I'm going to show you this river. There's a river down here called the River Ooze, ooze, oozing water down down the river. <laughs> the River Ooze. So I'll just show you that guys. I, I hope you're all right. I love you all. Look how beautiful it is today. We can actually see the sun. There must be something wrong. <laughs> we can see the sun in England. What's the matter? <laughs> that's, that's what I think. When I don't see any chemtrails. Hey, oh, something wrong here. <laughs> because honestly, you ask anybody else who lives in the UK, five days a week, we are doused with well, here it's in Scarborough, it's just like dense fog, but it's not fog. It's the dousing us in these chemtrails. And uh, anyway, 
never mind, I'll stop talking about that. Don't matter, like I said, because we're about to go up, 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 up into the heavens. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful, guys. So beautiful. It's going to be so lovely. This is the bridge here. I'm just going to show you this river. Yes, I do. I love you all. I know I keep saying it, but love that covers over all sins. Love is the fulfilling of the law of God. He that loves knows God, for God is love. So I'll turn it this way guys and just show you the river. It's quite a wide river actually and uh, quite, I hope I don't have my phone down there. But quite often um, it bursts its banks and uh, the, wa the water can come right up there sometimes. Um, I mean, I mean York has been, with the chemtrail, geoengineering, wet, I mean York was absolutely drenched a couple of years ago. It was flooding in the streets, people were walking through water. Uh, so that's the other side of the river. If you can see. I can hardly see a thing for the sun; it's that bright. But uh, yeah, down there, it's a very historical place, and people come for the history more than anything. But what a lovely day! I'll just keep you going for a tiny bit longer, and then I'll get get off. But hallelujah! Hallelujah, we fly soon, family. Be of good courage because because of the fig tree generation and because of um, how it's been worked out, um, Jesus' crucifixion and, uh, and uh, is, it, is, it, is it Hosea where it says on the third day I will raise you, I will raise you up. Uh, on the third day you'll be raised up, something like that. I get lost in what I'm saying and I'm sorry for... If I do, it's just to get a bit distracted. But I mean, I mean, there you go. I told you, I told you, this country was Babylon. Hi. Hi. We got a, we got a cafe called Babylon. What was the other thing? What, I'll have to have a look. What was the other thing? It said something else, didn't it? That other place, somewhat evil. I can't remember what it said now. But anyway, this is that Roman wall that goes around. Uh, the whole, whole city, well, the old part of the city anyway. And there's one of those abominable obelisks there, Freemason obelisks. They've, they've got them everywhere. I mean, the US and the UK so steeped in Freemason, Freemason lodges, Freemason halls, Masonic Hall. It's all here in the UK and the US. Uh, so uh, anyway, I won't stay on for too much longer, but I just wanted to show you York. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've done a, one on a nice sunny day like this of, of York, but uh, do you know, I'm actually, I'm actually quite tired. I think I'm going to leave it because uh, I was going to go preaching tomorrow, but I thought two days in a row might be a bit too much. So Brother Rob has agreed, in, I think so, in a message that, so day after tomorrow, we're going preaching, me and Brother Rob. And, um, and it's an emergency now, it's critical and it's urgent. It's really off the charts, urgent. Most people walking, walking along in, a, in a, a world of their own, you know, and uh, maybe even created a God in, you know, according to what they think God is like as well. And, but most people, what I'm trying to get at is, they are oblivious and it's like they're almost forgotten what happened in the last couple of years. I mean, that should have told people that we were in the end times, but the, the deception is rife. I mean, they had wanting to lull people into a, a fake reality, into a, everything's all right, just sit back, watch your TV, look, everything's going back to normal, like this. And they just want to lull you into that false, that alpha state of consciousness the TV, you know, so you won't believe, so you won't get saved, so you won't be going up and ratchet. Talking of which, unfortunately, I believe there ain't going to be that many. I mean, it's going to be a lot of people ratchet, but uh, compared to the in relation to the world population, no, it's going to it's going to be a scattering of people. Obviously, all babies and all children under the age of accountability. I don't know what age that is. God knows. I mean, some people said 13. 
because number 13 is the number of rebellion so I don't know but at 13 I was still a little just a little child I really was anyway now yeah, there's another part of the wall going round anyway I'm going to get off guys I'll try to hand a few gospel tracks out but I don't fancy preaching just just yet uh, not when I've got you know other things to do and stuff as well and get ready for Monday I'm really going to try and try my best on Monday I'm really going to go as long as I can so because I am feeling better but but as I was preaching back then um, I was exerting myself quite a lot and my back started playing up I didn't have the rucksack on but it started playing up so anyway thanks for your prayers today guys who knows it might be by your prayers that I saw that young lad get saved he was wearing all this witchcraft stuff and, and he got saved, accepted the Lord. So some people know, so I think most people know that something ain't right. I think most people know, but they're just denying. They're in denial, you know? They just, listen, I'll tell you what it is. Until it lands on UK soil, most, most of the British people are not bothered. They're not bothered about what's going on around the world, you know? Unless until it lands on this on this soil. Then they then they're gonna be arms up in the air, you know? Um, so I, I, was, I was preaching, I was saying, come in a time immediately after the rapture, I said, all the ATMs will be shut down, all the clothes, all, all the all the shops will be emptied, shut down, there'll be no electric. There'll be no water um, like this, you know. Uh, so, anyway, here I am at York train station. I, I'll get off, guys, and find out when my next train is. But I love you all. I love your beautiful family. And I, I'll see you, but, well, higher than those clouds. I don't know what the highest clouds are called, but we'll be up there anyway, meeting the Lord in the clouds of heaven.